Today we're gonna to take wood that looks like this and turn it into a really cool collapsible display stand. This video is supported by Brilliant.org. There's not a whole lot of components to this project. We have a top board, we have a couple legs, and we have some wedges to hold it all in place. This would be way easier if I just grabbed a board from like the lumber yard because it's kind of already milled down a little bit. Instead, I'm gonna use some random stuff that I cut up with my chainsaw because well, I'm a glutton for punishment and tend to do things a lot harder than they should be. Pretty sure John Kennedy said the same thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. I know this material is really rough and it's gonna take me a whole lot of time to get it all milled up and resawed and all of that, because ultimately I want it to be about three quarters of an inch thick. I thought it would be really cool to keep that live edge on the top board. Well, the problem is, is that if I really want to cut this to its final size, I, I can't run that live edge against my table saw fence because, well, it's not square. So instead I have this jig here, just made out of some really crappy plywood. It rides on top of my fence and I've got some clamps that I can then position my board to whatever angle I want, clamp it down. Now I can safely cut it and I can get the exact width that I need for this board. This is gonna make for a really cool top because I love that edge. So it's already cut to its length and its width. Maybe the length's just a little bit overboard and that is because I made a giant template. And for the people who watch my channel know, I love templates, so I've got uh, one right here. So I'm gonna take this, use some spray adhesive and stick it right on top. So then I really just have to follow the ends, right? So I'm gonna, cut the ends, round them over, sand it on both sides, and then cut out those notches there. And that's where the legs slide up from underneath. I think I'm gonna use the scroll saw to do mine, but you could easily drill out the holes and just clean it up with a chisel. Kind of six in one hand, half a dozen in the other. I plan to make the templates that I used available. So I'm gonna put a link down in the description below in case anyone wants to check that out and download them and give this project a shot. It's kind of a quick build. This sander from Harbor Freight, not sponsored in any way, just a great tool. And don't forget your eraser. After a little bit of sanding, I think it looks pretty good. So now I gotta make those legs to go in there. And well, I don't wanna try to make two and make them match exactly. So instead I have a piece of quarter inch thick hardboard. So I'm gonna take my template, stick it onto that, make a template, and then I can put that onto my pieces and just hit it with a router. And then I'll have to make some wedges so it doesn't just collapse on itself. After making the template, I need to trace it out on my workpiece. That way I can go ahead and remove the bulk of that waste at the bandsaw or scroll saw or whatever else. And then could put the template back on with some double-sided tape, then go over to the router table. That way I'm not taking a whole lot of material off whenever I'm using the router. I don't like the router. The router doesn't like me. It always tries to eat my face off, but I'd rather use the router and a template than do a whole lot of sanding on those sides. Hey, look at that, it fits together. So just gotta put a couple wedges in there to kind of sure it all up. So don't really need a template for that, right? Just a, a board at an angle. Now, luckily, if you remember way, way, way back, I had to use that jig to cut the one side of the, the board here at the top of the board. Well, that made it automatically at an angle. So I might be able to use this. I'm gonna try it anyways. Basically just gotta put it in there, make a couple of marks, give myself and a little bit of room on each side and then cut it down. And you know, if it doesn't fit, I'll just hit it with a hand plane and kind of get it at the angle that I need to and a little bit of sanding just to fine tune it all.
While we're waiting on the finish to dry, let me tell you a little bit about today's sponsor, which is Brilliant.org. If you're looking at taking your woodworking skills to a whole other level, then Brilliant has you covered. They're an online learning platform that has thousands of lessons from basic math to physics to artificial intelligence. And I'm not talking about like boring high school lectures that you just watch. I set some big woodworking goals for myself this year and I really wanna push my skills. And that's why I've been taking Brilliant's courses on geometry. We're all makers and a lot of us learn better by doing. So Brilliant's hands-on learning environment has helped me to beef up my knowledge about complex angles, which I think is gonna to lead to better woodworking projects in the future. Their courses feel more like puzzles and games than anything else, and I don't have to learn a whole bunch of math formulas. Brilliant's actually changing the way that I visualize my projects. I can see things I didn't notice before, and that is kind of sparking some cool creative ideas for potential projects in the future. For most of us, making stuff is a hobby that we have to try to squeeze in because we're all really busy. Well, Brilliant has their courses broken down into small segments and they only take a couple minutes to do. So you just spend a few minutes a day and then next thing you know, you've completely mastered a particular subject. You can try everything that Brilliant has to offer for free for 30 days if you go to brilliant.org slash newt makes or just go down to the video description and click on the link down there. The first 200 of you that do it can get 20% off a Brilliant annual premium subscription. Thanks again to Brilliant for making this video possible and for creating a really cool way to learn. What I really like about this project is the versatility to it because this thing would be awesome to put like in an office or something or on your countertop so you can display stuff like cups or take it, put it on your dining room table, put some bread on it, make your food look all fancy like, so pretty cool project. If you like this one, you might wanna check out this other video up here. Until we meet again, get in your shop and build something awesome.